Hey everybody, it's Kent Davis from Panama Equity Real Estate and today I'm going to tell you about Balboa Avenue, Avenida Balboa, which is the iconic stretch. Anytime you see a picture of downtown Panama City, Panama with water, it's going to be Balboa Avenue. That's the stretch that runs from east to west, Paitilla to Casco Viejo and Balboa Avenue is absolutely beautiful. So you've got, in terms of real estate, it's all, it's 100% apartments. So old condos, new condos, older condos, you get more for your money in terms of space, maybe less amenities, maybe a little bit more dated social areas like lobby and pool versus super modern, super high end, brand new apartments. So you've got a lot to choose from on Balboa Avenue in terms of properties and condos to buy or rent. So what about lifestyle? Why do people decide to live on Balboa Avenue versus other places? Well, if you want an ocean view, that ocean view ain't going anywhere. You are right on the water, right on the Pacific. There's quite a big tidal variance, variance, I believe it's about 30 feet. So high tide and low tide are pretty extreme on Balboa Avenue. There are some days where you will see, well, there's uh, twice a day, you will see mud, but for the rest of the day when the tide comes in and as the tide is going out, it's water and it's just beautiful. And about 10 years ago in 2000, right around 2000, actually 2009, they started what is now called the Cinta Costera, which is the coastal belt line. And this is the other reason that people live on Balboa Avenue because you've got a stretch from again, Paitia all the way to Casco Viejo and actually looping around Casco Viejo out to the Amador Causeway where people go running, bike riding, rollerblading, pushing a stroller or just strolling. You don't wanna do it in the middle of the day unless you wanna get super tan, <laughs> bring a lot of water or drenched. Um, but that coastal belt line or the Cinta Costera is really the the heart, the essence of Balboa Avenue living. When you live on Balboa Avenue, you cross this, the highway, because it is a pretty fast highway. They've got overpasses and walk lanes. And once you're there, it's full of food vendors and people and activity and places where you can rent rollerblades, bicycles. It's just a really, really nice spot. And then from Balboa Avenue, about one or two blocks in, away from the water, you've got the restaurant district, You've got Casco Viejo, which is our historic district full of bars and restaurants. You've got several good hospitals a few blocks from Balboa Avenue. If you're a parent with kids, there is Parque Uraca. Parque Uraca um, is a great park. Same thing, just there are several little parks along the Cinta Costera. So it is a good place to raise kids. Um, you will always be generally anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes away from schools. So it's not say right on top of walking distance to very many schools. It's also can be a bit noisy. So back a long time ago, they used to have drag races on Balboa Avenue. Those have generally been squashed, but it's a main thoroughfare. So you're gonna get some noise. Some good buildings have double pane windows where that's not an issue. Older buildings, not so much. Balcony open, not so much. Also, you're gonna have to clean a little bit more because you're right on the ocean. So you get some of that, you know, it's, it is pollution. It's not nearly, the air quality in Panama is actually very good compared to other parts of the world. However, when you get cars driving right below you and the wind is just right, you're gonna to have to clean your balcony a little bit more often living on Balboa Avenue than you might say in a place like El Cangrejo or even Punta Pacifica. But with that, you get the benefit of being right on the water and getting those ocean breezes. And at night when it's calm or on a Sunday, hearing the water, it's, it's a special place. It's very safe, very monitored, very tourist and local friendly. So there's always a lot of people out there. If you like to people watch, there's some cafes along Balboa Avenue. 
malls close, hospitals close. It's it's a very convenient area, and from the ho from the international airport, no traffic, 20 minutes traffic as long as an hour. Same thing out to the beaches area. You can be at the beach in about an hour from Balboa Avenue, say Balboa to Coronado, if you time it right. Sometimes it could take three hours if you go on a Friday afternoon, but you learn. Anyway, so Balboa Avenue, fantastic area, definitely worth looking into. Hope this video was helpful.